Right, we have to illustrate expansive fiscal policy in the ADA's model. Expansive fiscal policy, increase in government spending, or a decrease in taxes. Let's start with an increase in government spending. This leads to an increase in aggregate demand, leading to an increase in income and also the price level. Now we have to illustrate this. The ADA's model, name the axis, the aggregate demand curve, the aggregate supply curve, where these two curves intersect, equilibrium price level, and the equilibrium income level. Now, government spending increase, um, and this leads to an increase in aggregate demand. Now, an increase in aggregate demand can be illustrated by a rightward shift of the aggregate demand curve. So this aggregate demand curve shifts to the right, and this leads to a new equilibrium position at P1, and income level Y1. So now we see price level increases and also the income level. An increase in income? Yes, to produce more, we need to employ more people. So the increase in income will lead to a decrease in unemployment. This is the effect of expansionary fiscal policy when government spending increase. Or we can say, well, taxes must decrease. A decrease in taxes increases disposable income. Increase in disposable income. Yes, consumption spending is a function of disposable income. Consumption spending increases, leading to an increase in aggregate demand. And again, this increase in aggregate demand will then affect income level and also prices. Income will increase and the price level will also increase. But we have to show this graphically. We're going to use the same diagram. Starting with the initial income position, price level of PE, income level YE. Now, increase in consumption spending leads to an increase in aggregate demand. Illustrated by a rightward shift of the aggregate demand curve, increasing the price level and also the income level. This then, illustration of expansionary fiscal policy in the ADA's model.